Today, we are challenging to survive 10 years after the apocalypse starts. In this game, everything is covered by wilderness. Trees covering almost everything outside the building. There's no power or water supply. All perishable items are rotten, and all roads are no longer accessible. How long can we survive? Will we die first from a bite or from hunger? We spawned at the trailer park, which is not the best place to start a base. So I decided to walk as fast as I can to the open warehouse about 150 times away, hoping that the high fences are still intact. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I heard something. Hammer, hammer. Oh, shucks, there's a hammer. There's one, two. Okay, I just aggroed this one. Screwdriver. Perfect. Now we have the complete set. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Ah, oh, shucks. Stupid. Bite. Bleeding. Disinfect. Rip shit. Ah, oh, motherfuzzum. Shucks, now I have to carry you. I didn't want to carry anyone. Why are you naked? Oh, shucks, they're on the other side. Should I let them in? There's how many? Three? Three is doable. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's not. That's not three. Oh, motherfuzzum. Let's do this in this light. It's too dark there. Come on. Come on. Ah, shucks, there's a crawler. It's the only protection we have right now. I was counting on that this fence is still intact, but. Guess it's not. I have to clear this area. I knew by this time it will be impossible to fix the high fences here, so I have to move forward okay. to the other warehouse. But I need to tackle two considerations. First, I don't have that much food with me. And second, I have to cross a forest without knowing how many zombies I have to face. With my current weapon, this will be a high risk for me. Okay, do we collect more food? Yeah, I think so. Do we? Yeah, we need to collect more food before we collect planks. In day two, I walk back to the okay, trailer so park and looted the nearest establishment I see. Whatever I get here, I have to make it last until I settle on the next warehouse. What oh, the fuzzum? After looting, I run to the next warehouse to clear a path and check if it is possible to build a base there. This is the parking area and there's an entrance somewhere here, you see? What the? What the? Hand axe. This, this, this gonna change a lot of things. Who? Who? This changes a lot. Who? We have a wood axe here. Shucks. 
Well, it's not that bad. For a couple of days of spending clearing that out, I think this is going to be really, really usable for us. Nine twenty, we can sleep. Once we wake up, we have to be ready. After getting a full night's sleep, I went out to get my loot back from the previous base. Not too sure about the deep cycle battery. Mm. Maybe I'll just take it, just in case. Yeah, I'll definitely take it. Can I even put it here? Okay, perfect. Well, I can only hope that there won't be any zombies coming after us now. Ah, shh. Okay, it's open. Okay. Day 4, made sure to cut as much lag as I can before I exhausted all of my strength. Okay, I guess I'm too exhausted right now. I don't know how this egg maintained its freshness, okay. but I'm going to take it. This is day 5, and I forgot pump need power to work. I'm a bit pissed, so I channel my inner anger to something useful. Day 6, I started farming. It will take 24 days before potatoes with seeds are ready for harvest, and roughly the same with the tomatoes. Meaning, I have to make my canned good last for almost a month before I can have a steady supply of fresh ingredients. Day 7, I continued working on my base. I tried to finish the bedroom on the second level, however, I had some unexpected visitors. continued working on my base hoping to finish this before the day end but things won't go that well as I hope I'm guessing the surrounding zombies Holy can hear my carpentry because they continued to destroy the lowest level of the warehouse and they went in to destroy my newly built housing For me to continue building my base without any interruption, I built a simple blockage which will stop any normal zombies. Credits okay. to the person who discovered this idea. If anyone knows who that person is, please do write their streamer name in the comment section. I don't have a door yet. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, sleep.